Hello, boys and girls, my name is Altasti, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Last time we did a bit of, uh, of work uh, down below uh, for the uh, Iron Volcano. That's where we started off. But the volcano is currently idle. So that's not a good time uh, to dig it out um, and do the analyzing. Um, because then uh, we, it becomes a bit messy. So let's wait uh, until it's uh, dormant. And then we can do uh, all these things um, at our own time. Um, but we also noticed that over here uh, our gas turbines are no longer working because we have too much air pressure in here. So that's why I hooked up carbon skimmer here and a water sieve uh, next to it and that should solve the problem here on this side I think we do not need more polluted water or water in here just need this last piece of wire uh, being built yep and this is basically now a loop Clean water goes in, uh, carbon dioxide is cleaned out, uh, generated uh, polluted water, uh, which is then cleaned in, and that's an uh, infinite water loop. We do not need any more on this loop, so we should be good. And then we should see the pressure uh, decreasing so that uh, these uh, machines can work once again. So what do we have in here, um, Brian? Um, don't need that. Um, how much water do I have in here? Yeah, I think that's that's enough. Yeah, it's a bit on the hot side. But now all the pipe is isolated, which should uh, mean that the air that we are cooling down does not heat up if the room is too hot. And this is definitely a good thing. All right. still have uh, over pressure here but eventually we will get around to it we could basically we also uh, prepared the cooling loop over on this side 
and I think we will um, branch off here going through this area and then back over here so let's finish that off we'll create everything with isolated pipes And then, of course, here behind the um, behind the machines, we need a bit of um, at least normal pipe. Uh, seeing that we have carbon dioxide in here, and that is a gas um, that's really bad when it comes to uh, uh, thermal conductivity. Uh, meaning that the heat is not transferred uh, easily uh, probably uh, radiant pipe um, is the better choice and now then over here on this side we have cleaned up so we can build up the wall again and once the wall is done we can activate these two pumps once again and get more oxygen in which is becoming a bit sparse right now because we turned it off and did not turn the diffusers on so the uh, carbon dioxide from below is spreading um, here down here we need carbon dioxide for our uh, mushroom farm but basically on the level above like here we could uh, skim out the carbon dioxide and hook that up to this pipe here so um, we're coming out here Need to cross over there. Go up here. And then, of course, um, in this could be a tiny bit more difficult um, maybe let's have another bridge here that we do not take it from uh, this side where uh, we have a lot of uh, piping to go on but basically go over on this side and then hook it up here somewhere um, let's finish this wall please Okay, looks like the 
pipe here is done. And let's do the last piece with the bridge over on this side. And then everything should flow down here. And uh, by the looks of it, uh, the pressure has lessened a bit, so at least temporarily some of the machines can work. We can deconstruct that, and then we will have radiant pipe. Over here, I think we can make that out of lead. One piece behind each machine. Each battery that should help uh, with the with the cooling. going on here on this side because water is too cold in the pipe so and let's figure this out um, we want the liquid pipe underneath to deconstruct And here. And then we have to get power from somewhere. Okay, uh, wall is back up, so can enable the building again. How are we looking here? On this wire, we have a potential load of one point. Uh, eight one kilowatt oh I should look at this one yeah it's this one that's the that's the wrong kind of wire so I think we will do it like this. So what do we get? 
fertilizer. Yes. Um, who the the larves have uh, hatched? So let's make barbecue and clean up the oil spill. tiny bit so that um, we do not constantly break the pipe uh, our volcano is still not dormant At least here you can see the temperatures are affected by the by the cooling loop. Down here not so much. But here also the the radiant pipes are not yet in place. So how shall we Heat this up. Um, this one um, takes almost one kilowatt of energy. Um, then we probably also want to add a hydro sensor um, uh, over here we can easily do this with lead and here we want a um, thermal sensor so we can control the uh, uh, liquid temperatizer so that it only heats up the uh, salt water, the brine, uh, up to a certain point. Um, and then we want to pump only if there is a certain amount of water or brine in here. Usually, uh, once you reached the uh, the lower region of your base, um, there is quite a bit of uh, of uh, lead, uh, more than you have used for. So, if I can find uh, some some cables um, that are out of the way because lead is not uh, really that great when it comes to uh, um, um, the decorative effect and it also has a pretty low um, uh, uh, melting point Um, probably we will have to think about pumping out the uh, 
natural gas here at some point. Okay, how we are looking, we are still re-oxygenizing. Um, can disable this one um, and this one. And I thought I said I want barbecue there. Okay, and this one is uh, working as well. So now that we have extended the, the uh, water loop, uh, it needs a bit filling up, so uh, we will not see any uh, overflow until that happens. Okay, but now the pressure here has gotten down and all the pumps or the, the generators are working. Um, and we can see cooling uh, makes a difference. then here on this side we're still okay looks like we have everything um, produced that we wanted to um, how are we looking don't have that much uh, uh, iron so Maybe we can do 20 more iron. How are we looking uh, uh, oxygen wise? Yeah. Not that great yet, but it will come together. Um, and let's let's see. We're going in with let's say 60 degree, and we're coming out with below 10 degree. That should help greatly with the temperatures in here. Uh, but we probably will only see it uh, once we have more of the oxygen actually in the base. So I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, where we did uh, quite uh, a bit uh, uh, fixing and stabilizing uh, of our base but every once in a while this is necessary so hope you join me next time uh, for another episode of oxygen not included goodbye